to the Justin Root Show. Last time on the Justin Root Show. Share if you're watching, go follow him. Now, welcome back. Now. Yeah, probably not like the fun part of the interview. That's but it, it's fun for me, actually, because honest to God, okay, so when I met you and we like started hanging out and mm-hmm. that kind of thing, I kind of didn't get what you did. Which is fine. Which is what a lot of people don't. Yeah, and when I mention your name to people, they're always like, well, what's he do? And I'll be like, well, he's a YouTube star. Okay, I know, but like, what's his day job? How does he make money? He's a YouTube star. Sure. And a blogger and uh, all that But now you kind of get it. No, no, no. I get it because I've I've known you for like a little over a year now. Mm -hmm. And like I follow and I watch and I see the progress and all that kind of stuff. I think it's great that you keep getting followers and followers and followers. But Mm -hmm. I have to honest to God tell you. And this is, I'm being dead serious. No, I'm being serious (laughs) now. I'm being a lot serious. All right. A lot serious. Wow. Um, But I'm being more serious. Wow, Justin (laughs) Shaw. I'm being serious when I say this. Are you drunk? Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm like getting so (laughs) bubbly. I'm getting so bubbly. I love and respect so much how you handle internet hate. Oh, thank you. No, no, no. But I'm being serious. Like, that's actually what has kind of been more fascinating to me. Mm -hmm. Because I grew up in an era where you get made fun of or... Bully is too strong of a word. I wasn't bully. Right, right. But I was People throw around that word very easily nowadays. I think so, too. I was... um, It wasn't easy being in middle school. It wasn't easy being in high school, either. Like, if you don't play football... For a lesbian. Exactly. I feel that. As lesbians, we feel that. You do look like a baby Tilda Swinton. Has anyone told you that? You look like an adult Tilda Swinton. (laughs) Oh, my God. We can play her in a biopic, young and old. But, no, seriously. I... You... Like, I grew up in that era where it was just kind of like, if I were going to be made fun of, I'd be made fun of at school. Right. And then you would go home. And then I'd go home and I wouldn't have to deal with it. But you get internet hate, which is like, I'm not saying you get a lot of it, but you... I get a fair share. You get it and you get it in your pocket while you're at brunch with friends because your phone goes off, you check it, and it's something... And you've probably seen it, like, happen. I've seen it with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like... But here's the thing about that. You deal with it on such... A commendable and respectful level that I, I don't know if it was not like, always. No, but you do because I watch your responses and they're not. You can have a knee jerk reaction right. like most people do, Which I where do. you're like, you this 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 yeah. this and that you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what Which I mean. Which I sometimes do. But for the most part, I don't know if you're more aware of it or it's more calculating. But you're very um, you send love, and I think honestly, right. it took me. But I'm a lot. I'm like. Like a couple months older than you, but I feel like <laughs> it took you. And oh, honestly, like you have a phrase when somebody like attacks you or says something nasty, you just say, You do you. Yeah. That, I mean, that is my, that's kind of like my thing that I've kind of wanted to live my life by. Like, because, and it kind of stemmed here, I'll tell you how it stemmed. Um, at first, I was getting a lot of negativity from the LGBT community. Because people thought I was trying to be a representation, or people thought I was trying to speak for the gays, or something like that. And it was a big kind of ordeal for me, because at first I was like, yes, I want that kind of uh, responsibility. Yes, I want to use my influence for good, blah, 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 blah. But then I kind of realized that I can't have that, and nobody can have that as one person. They can only kind of speak for themselves and speak to their own uh, perspective and influence and things like that. And so it was kind of an aha moment where I realized I can only do me. And if people want to see themselves in that or see part of themselves in that, more power to them. But I can't try to speak for anybody. And that was never my intention. But with people putting that on me, it kind of realized, okay... I can only be myself, people can only be themselves, and I can only encourage that in everybody. We gotta talk about a mutual friend of ours, because this is actually kind of amazing, and this is a question that I actually have for you that can kind of relate to my older audience a little bit because of spirituality and kind of like the whole meditating and yoga thing, which young people don't do. Oh, I know who we're talking about. RuPaul. Yes. RuPaul picked you up Mm -hmm. in his car for his web series and drove you around, and he gave you advice, which I thought was pretty cool, because RuPaul advice is amazing advice. Yes. And he told you to balance the, I think he used the, the quote, the fantasy world and the whole pop culture mm-hmm. idea of celebrity and balance it with kind of a spirit mm-hmm. and kind of a, 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 like meditating and all that. And do you really do it? Do you, how, even I if you actually, don't. No, I actually have, I don't know if I would consider it meditating, but yeah, I would yeah. consider it my own form of it because I don't, I never did any research on it. Yeah. I never like looked at yoga or anything like that, but I took it to heart as 
and interpreted it for myself yeah. as I need time to just be with myself. Yeah. And that's my own meditation. So in the morning, I don't get on my phone. I don't get on my computer. Oh. I lay in bed and I just like figure myself out for the day. Oh, you know wow. what I mean? Whereas before the first instinct was to get on my phone. But now I like make sure my phone is not near me. Um, I joke that I like sleep with it in my hand, but like I make sure it's not with me and I wake up and I just like kind of let myself have a moment before I like dive in because as much as it is a hobby, it's yeah. also my career. And like, if I only focus on that, it, I am bound to like hate it or yeah. resent it. So to like have time away and to have time for myself, that's what I interpret as my own meditation. That's but yeah, amazing. I did get that from Ruth. Yeah. That's amazing. I can actually meditate. Really? Yeah. Watch. This bitch. <laughs> how was that for you? It's amazing how much better everything feels. Don't you feel it? <laughs> Don't you see it? I feel it from your aura. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. How you? How do you though balance? How do the you? Whole we're almost done because I'm I'm literally so drunk that I like seriously. Oh I, my god. We're almost done. But um, <laughs> we're in the butchery. we drank a whole bottle of it by the way. Um, no, this is amazing. This has been um, so much fun. My producer, Melissa, was promised a glass. She's not going to get one. Sorry, Shalissa. Um, oh, oh thank wow. You. Fire. Oh, you fire. only cut a little bit. Uh, and I dripped it on the apartment tree couch. Um, that's amazing. So, um, when I found out that you were gracious enough, <laughs> accommodating enough, and appeasing enough to come do my show. It's only for the champagne. Exactly. <laughs> and you're a champagne in my ass. Mm, but, um, cheers. Dang. I took to Twitter and I asked your fans to send No, you did me, not. I asked your fans to send me questions. Okay? How did you get a hold of them? I got my ways. <laughs> I asked his fans to ask me questions, so we're going to get started, all right? I'm nervous. I know. All right. So, at JK Malatek asked, Okay. What is your favorite dessert? My f I was I would say key lime pie because <laughs> <laughs> um, not key lime pie. I don't like sweets. No, I think that was misleading. Huh? The questions weren't for you. They were for me. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. What's your answer? <laughs> Did you think they were for you? I think You're I worded funny. that wrong. I think I worded that wrong. No. What is your answer then? <laughs> it's not the Tyler Oakley show. It's a just for Oh my God. What's your I'm answer? Sorry. I feel so bad. I feel like I didn't set that up right. Key lime pie. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, Oh, this is good. My dad tweeted, get a real job. Nope. <laughs> is your dad on Twitter? Nope. Um, okay. So this, okay. So actually, you know what? You can answer this one. You Thanks. Can answer this one. All right. So Biscotti, who is at Rizzle Franta. Oh. Do you like, know him? Uh, no, but that's uh, a fan of got, our friend Connor. He got so excited. Franta, that's a play on his last name. Oh. That must mean they're a fan of Connor. Oh, okay. Well, he asked you a question. He hates and, Connor. No, he really did. He asked, what is your craziest fan experience? Ooh, maybe that's why he asked. Is it him? Um, <laughs> Sorry. My, fa my, my craziest fan experience? What is your craziest fan experience? Probably, so I had this guy ask me to be on his web show as the first episode. And here I am. <laughs> Actual right, craziest? Done. Somebody gave me, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I don't have anything. I mean, people send me crazy shit, but I don't acknowledge it because then it like encourages people to one up it. Yeah. So I don't know. I've never had anything too crazy. But I have to say, honestly, you are so great with them because when you and I went and saw like Iron Man 8 or whatever we went and saw, do you remember that? The Grove, you were on crutches. Oh my God. Well, I remember it because. I oh my God. And I had to crutch. We, there were no seats left because he was so fucking slow <laughs> and we had to go all the way up the stairs in my crutches. And nobody carried me. I helped you. Yes, I did. I you had your arm on my arm. It was very flirty. It was very disgusting. But you did that. Mm -hmm. But no, but you, in the lobby, you got recognized. Do you remember this? No. I do, because I was extremely jealous. You I were offended. Furious. I was you were like, oh, did you want a sign my signature? <laughs> I was furious. I was like signing, I was like signing Susie Orman. I was signing Ellen DeGeneres. I was like signing I was signing Ellen DeGeneres. I know. No, but these, 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 like this group of kids like recognized you and you were so sweet and you were just so nice. And I was like, uh, and well, you just, it, it I feel like amazing. it's amazing. You took pictures with them. I, I feel like anybody who has any type of experience or lifestyle because of fans mm -hmm. in some capacity. And you have so many of them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they owe them and they, they, the least they can do is be kind and supportive and nice when they want a picture. Like it's the least I can do. Oh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you could do a lot more. Um, you really haven't seen a Shelley Long movie? No, okay. Are you That's serious? my assignment. I will go home and do that. Watch Money Pit. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm serious. Listen. No. Listen. <laughs> Tom Hanks won two Oscars. He won two Oscars. He's big. Oh my God. I do love big. Listen to this. Seriously. She was on Cheers for five years and yeah. she left to have a movie career and Hollywood shit on her. Oh, babe. Now you can do that. In the 80s, you couldn't do that. That's and they, so sad. They looked at her and they went, you're no. awful. You're awful. Why would you leave a hit show? Why would you leave it? And Kirstie Alley, if you know who she My is. My queen, yeah. Yeah, she replaced Shelley yeah. Long. Well, then you know. You should know Shelley Long. Kirstie Alley has a career because of Shelley Long, idiot. God damn it. Listen, she replaced her. You should know that. Okay, good to know. Kier, uh, Shelley Long got shit on for leaving Cheers. And she didn't deserve it. And then she went on to make movies that were pretty successful. The Brady Bunch movie. You never saw the Brady Bunch movie? I didn't okay, catch that okay. one. We'll watch that too. We're having so many screenings. Um, oh, I just got a nasty wrap it up by my, my producer. <laughs> wow. Before you get out of here, I brought you a gift bag. Okay. And I'd like you to open it. Oh my God. And I brought Wait. you some oh, stuff. It's so heavy. There's a bunch of stuff Hold in there. there. Okay. You so, did not have to do this. Well, I wanted to. And I, I, listen, don't make noise because we have audio things. I cannot, and I want this to be said on air in front of 650 cameras. I want to thank you immensely. Of course. For coming here and doing it. It's my pleasure. I and really... if you're one of my people, you need to subscribe because he has amazing interviews coming. He is one thank of my you. favorite people in the world and he like deserves all the success. And yep, yep, yep. Amazing. And I will take the check. Hopefully it's in here I... to say all those things. And seriously, all of my producers, eight Melissa, of them, they, Seriously, they were all literally like, oh, paycheck. Gail, Because right now they're being paid in alcohol. Um, Open, go, 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 okay. go, go. Yeah, open that. <laughs> okay. Oh, see the wrapping. You know me. You get me. I'm afraid. No, it's not afraid. They're for you. What? <laughs> I hate you. are a little baby. They're for your little feeties. I'm gonna literally kill you. These You're are great though. They're for your little feeties. I feel like they go with anything. They're your little for your little baby I'm feet. I'm literally gonna shit on your fucking couch. I love okay, you. Okay, great. Open that. One Direction. Woo. I'm gonna fucking guess what it is. What? It's a picture frame with a picture of you in it. Close. Oh, wait, it's us. That's cute. That was a fun day. We had Oreos that day. I remember I splurged. You did. You did. But you honestly, did. You did. I just want you to have the frame. You can take that off. Um, That's cuticles. Um, this is tea for talk show. <laughs> wait, this is... No, you can actually just, keep that. <laughs> that you'll throw, no, this you'll throw away. These you'll give to charity. What else we got? This, over everything. seriously, you can hang in your house. Great. Yes, my queen. We'll celebrate. When this is uploaded, we'll celebrate by drinking this together. Google it. It's not cheap. Um, do you eat chocolate? Yeah. Good. Go. <laughs> right now? No, no. I'm not now. <laughs> when you get home, these are for you. These are really Come for on. you. What is this? That's the last thing. Oh. No, it's cute. It's just something oh, you this need. This is actually cute. Because I've been to your apartment and you need good smells. <laughs> Wait, this is super cute. It's cute. It's just I a candle. I love candles. candles. It's not that. That's the end. It's it. It's it. It's We've not. done it. We did a video. Mm. I really, seriously, like, this means a lot to me. That you would take the time and the whatever. It's my pleasure. You are everywhere. I know. Um, I really seriously want Wait, to say. Wait, that's it? That's it. Oh. I'm wow. kidding. Wow. I'm kidding. Where did my wine go? Wow. Not oh, wine. <laughs> Give me. That's yours. Um, drink it up. Meditate. Um, I seriously want to thank my guest, Tyler Oakley. You can subscribe <laughs> to him at ShellyLong.com. <laughs> He's at ShellyLong at Twitter. Uh -huh. At ShellyLong Tumblr. If you need to get a hold of me, hashtag ShellyLong. Hashtag ShellyLong Friendster. And hashtag ShellyLong at NBC. Why not, right? <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching, Mom and Dad and Tyler's Mom and Tyler's number one well, My fan. mom is over it. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much. And thank you so much for coming. I love you. You're the best. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mwah. I have to kiss you on the side. Mwah. Mwah. I like pulled your hair in. I like Thank you for having me. This was so fun.